what I want people to get the most from this is that Angie is not by herself. Angie is uh, the voice in this one, but there are many people that come, you know, that, that come through the kind of trials and tribulations that she has. I want people to get what the sense of community does, what the sense of surrogate family does in raising somebody and pulling them through trauma. I want people to understand the importance of talking and having open and honest conversations in order to process and deal with uh, our grief and our trauma, especially in uh, minority communities. I feel like just sitting in the shoes of what it feels like to be a victim of sexual assault um, was really tough. So just a lot of inward work, a lot of introspective work, and just sitting honestly by myself for hours at a time um, and really just trying to do it justice. Uh, to really make sure that I'm portraying so many women's struggles and, voice, and voices appropriately. Well, yes. I'm actually the verbally abusive mother of the lead character, and um, I would say that this was definitely one of my more challenging characters um, in that, again, she's in a very dark place, and my whole goal is never to um, judge my characters and to always be as truthful as possible. I play JD. Um, kind of the bad guy in the film, but we learn he's not as bad as we think. <laughs> Throughout, uh, yeah, because I'm not a bad guy. You can tell. You can look at me. Look at me. <laughs> this movie is really important to me. The message of this movie, because uh, sexual assault is something that I dealt with for many years, and it's something that a lot of women deal with. A lot of women and men, not just women, but. Um, that's a big reason why I wanted to do this project. Other than loving Lynette and Corey so much, they're like family to me, but um, I think that it's a, this is just a really great way to come together creatively, to be able to do something in the arts, to spark a conversation about something that is so heavy. The, the right? character is very complex. Um, you're going to see the different levels of the character throughout the film. Uh, you know, working on her set with she and Corey, who, you know, like I said, this is probably our fifth or sixth day together. They're always so supportive, so fun. They make the set just a, a warm environment. Even though I had to be the bag, even though Corey yelled across the set and said, Chris Dukes, I need to not like you. Come on now. I'm super, super proud of Angie's Care. This is a movie that, like, literally has such an amazing message, super relatable. Um, I think there's definitely going to be some tears tonight. If you leave with a dry eye, I'm just, I'm not sure if you got a soul. <laughs> uh, and I'm here just to see the film and, and celebrate my friend Corey Grant, man, for just putting together uh, an amazing movie. It's an amazing role because I'm usually the, the hood guy that is stuck in the hood, but I'm um, mentally level-headed and, and trying to escape beyond that. So I feel like it's a good um, character on a good time. So I kind of had to put myself in in the in the thought process of what would happen you know how i would uh portray myself as a police officer at the time so i think it's an amazing film i think there's everyone involved should be proud especially the casting crew i think they did a phenomenal job uh it's some of the best work i've been involved with uh and, and i'm really looking forward to seeing the audience reaction tonight